Do you have an amazing video that you want to run on Snapchat as an ad? We have the perfect tool to help you take existing video assets and convert them into a vertical orientation in minutes. We have launched a new feature in Snap Publisher that allows you to quickly and easily convert horizontal or square video into a vertical orientation, allowing you to run video ads on Snapchat. Once the video is loaded, the editor displays a vertical preview in the center, a list of all the shots from the video in the left side panel, controls to adjust the layout properties of each shot in the right side panel, and playback controls along the bottom. The tool has automatically converted your video into vertical orientation using one of the following four supported vertical layouts. This edit will not be perfect, but you will be able to adjust and fix any problems you see within the tool. The full screen layout is the most common vertical layout. Most shots have just a single point of interest. For example, one person, and the full screen layout works best for these shots. The split screen layout can be used when there are multiple points of interest in the shot, or when there is a single point of interest that moves too much to fit in a full screen layout. The three screen layout can be used when the entire shot should be included in the vertical layout. For example, wide angle shots, or shots with titles or graphics that span the width of the shot. The letterbox layout can be used in similar scenarios as the three screen layout, because it doesn't make full use of the vertical screen. This layout should be used sparingly. Videos that are more than 50% letterboxed may violate Snap's ad guidelines. The editor can be used to adjust the results of the automatically applied layout for each shot. To adjust the layout of a particular shot, select it from the left-hand panel or seek the video with the timeline. Switch the layout of the selected shot by clicking one of the four layout icons in the top right panel. For a particular layout, you can adjust the view using the controls on the right panel, or simply adjust the position on each screen by dragging the video on the canvas. Each shot in the left side panel represents a segment of video that is free of cuts or other transitions. These shots may not always correctly reflect the best cut points in your video. In some cases, a shot in the left side panel may be too short because a cut point was detected incorrectly. This can happen when frames in a shot are changing very quickly. For example, during fast camera motion. To fix this problem, select multiple shots at once by dragging a handle on the top or bottom of the selected shot and then choose Join Shots from the context menu. In other cases, a shot in the panel may be too long because the correct cut point was not detected. This can happen when the frames before and after the cut point are visually similar. To fix this problem, adjust the playhead on the first frame after the correct cut point. The next frame and previous frame buttons on either side of the play and pause button are useful for positioning the playhead on a specific frame. The split shot button can then be used to split the current shot into two new shots, using the current frame as the first frame of the latter shot. You can omit sections of your source video from the vertical output video on a shot-by-shot -shot basis. This can be useful for trimming from the start or end, or for dropping entire scenes in your source video. To drop a scene, select one or more shots from the shot list, open the shot context menu, and check the skip selected shots entry. Skipped shots will be omitted from the output video and skipped over during playback in the preview. You can still edit skipped shots and you can uncheck skip selected shots anytime to restore those sections of video in the output. Once you've finished editing the layout of your video, press the review button to continue to the review and export dialog. On the left, you have one more opportunity to review your finished vertical video. If you find a problem, close the dialog and return to the tool. If it looks good, you can render a final, high-quality version of your vertical video for export. Rendering will happen automatically before export and takes a few minutes. Click Download Video to download the complete vertical video to your computer, or export directly to Ads Manager.